Hi, my name is Richard Murbach and I'm with the Tom George Yacht Group. We are here at our Clearwater location off of US 19 and I'm on the 395 Everglades center console, a brand new model for Everglades. We're really excited about the boat. I'm going to walk you through a couple of different features of this stock boat that is available now here at our Clearwater location. Um, first one we've had, we're really excited about it. So point you out a couple different little things here. As you can see behind me, the boat is powered by triple 425 horsepower Yamaha V8 engines. Um, that's perfect power package for this boat. Sticking with the triples, you don't have to put a quad on the back to be up over 55 miles an hour. Tap bind on this one is gonna be somewhere around 57, 58 with a comfortable cruise 35 to 40 miles an hour and over a 400 mile range. So really, really excited about it. Um, as you can see, we also have two 40 gallon pressurized live wells. Uh, those are on the port and starboard of either side of the boat. Really easy, good access to get to those. Pressurized so your baits aren't gonna get sloshed around. Um, and then also here in between the two live wells, we have our fish box freezer. Um, this particular boat we brought in with a freezer plate, which is on the back side here. And there's a nice little tray here that flips down that you can use as a cutting board. It'll completely pull out and you could put that in any one of the rod holders on the boat if you wanted to do that, or you can just leave it in here, uh, configured here to, to cut your baits or limes or anything else you're using the boat for that day. Um, folds away nicely and then everything comes down nice and flush to give a nice clean working area. Uh, this boat has a 12 foot beam. Really, really big boat, 39 feet overall. This big transom seat here on the back and another one here on the other side. You can see the big hardware that Everglades has used. Um, all 316 stainless steel throughout the entire boat and big oversized hardware can fit six people across the back of the boat uh, really, really comfortably. And then again, everything folds away, backrest comes down and it's all out of the way. Um, Underneath us here uh, is access to the bilge. Big, big access hatch here. Um, there's backup live well pumps down there, all your through holes, um, your overboard discharge. Uh, you have a diesel generator on this boat. It's a 5KW uh, Fisher Panda diesel generator. That's gonna run the AC system that we have on this boat, uh, as well as a couple of different little things like a microwave down in the cabin. Um, coming forward here, we're gonna show you the mezzanine seat. So this is the standard mezzanine seat that is uh, available with this uh, 39 Everglades. There are AC vents here, there's four of them. One, two, three, four, and easy access to control the mezzanine seating air conditioning uh, that we have here. So you can sit here, watch your rods trolling, um, hanging out just with the family. So again, six people here, another two people here. That's just in the transom of the boat. You got seating for eight people. Underneath it, we have another freezer plate. Um, so good area to throw your drinks, uh, sandwiches, whatever you're using for the day there, separate it from your fish box in the back of the boat if that's how you decide you wanna use, use this boat here. Um, another nice feature is the make fast powered awning. That's above our head here. One push of the button, comes all the way out. This is an option on the boat. We really, really like it. You know, brutal sun, 95 degree weather that we get during the summer. You bring the boat over to the Bahamas, having a little extra shade while you're hanging out at the, at the, uh, at the island is nice, especially if you're gonna be on the water a couple of days in a row. Um, then another retract of the button and it comes all the way back in. Stores away, it's not in the way of your rod holders, which is above us. Uh, it's another thing I did failed to mention, 39 standard rod holders on the boat. Um, so you can really do everything, family, friendly, fishing, um, just depends and we can option it uh, the way that you want it. So we're gonna move forward and uh, show you the helm a little bit. So here at the helm, we have three wide seating with the triple Garmin screens. Those are 16 inches. Um, I like the fact that the steering wheel is centered here. So the captain uh, has a great line of view right down the center of the boat. Um, easy access to get to everything. 
As you can see, this one, we dressed it up with some of the teak here. We also have teak ladder backs behind us. And there's more AC here. So we have two AC vents here at the helm that blow onto the captain. And there also is two behind me, one, two that blow on my back as well as the either passenger seat, uh, port and starboard that blow on your back. Um, <clears throat> again, triple 16 inch garments here. Uh, the one here in the middle we have with the maps right now, uh, some access to control some of your stereo. You can really set it up however you want. Uh, one really cool feature that they did on this boat is some of the digital switching. Um, over here on the left hand side, I have all the digital switching up, but don't be afraid. We have redundant switching here for all of your main items. That's uh, horn, windshield wipers, uh, different docking lights and things like that. And also more redundant switches over here, just in case something happens out on the water, you're gonna be able to get home safe. All your bilge pumps, everything that's critical, get you home. But we're really, really excited about that uh, Garmin uh, helm switching there that's completely designed around this 395 seat. Still have the patented hydraulic sliding glass windshield that Everglades is known for, uh, and that solid, solid Everglades ride, uh, dry, comfortable for the whole family seating for three here. Um, underneath it, we have our cabin. Down in the cabin, there's a couple configurations that you can do. First would be all open, standard, no table, no filler in there. Gives you a nice open area to just have some seating with some storage underneath everything. The second configuration would be the one where we have the table in there, nice teak table, give you some area to you know maybe have a cocktail go down there, take a load off, just catch some AC, um, just a nice, a nice area to maybe keep that uh, the way that is all the time. And then the third and final way is the filler cushion. Um, you can slide that filler cushion in. It has its own dedicated storage uh, for, for to add that area in there to make it nice and big for two people. You pull it out, everything's all open again, and you can go along your daily uh, routine. Finally, you have a completely enclosed shower down in there. Um, that is a 6-3 headroom down in the shower with a nice rainfall shower over your head. Um, again, enclosed head, so it keeps everything away from your cabin to your, um, to your shower and, and toilet down there. A lot of manufacturers in this size range don't have the ability to make that head enclosed, which is a really nice feature here of this 39 Everglades. Um, and then. We'll kind of dash on forward here, show you the bow uh, and some of the way that it's designed up here. So coming forward here, you can see right now we got the table in the halfway up position that will go all the way down to the floor, giving you a nice flush deck uh, depending on how you're using the boat. Again, family friendly fishing center console here, but the ability to walk all the way forward as well when that uh, table is flush with the deck. Also, we have batch, ratcheting backrests here on the port and starboard side. Come all the way forward. That'll lay back down. Storage underneath it on both port and starboard again. And then also rod storage, gaff storage. Uh, I did the measurement earlier today. You can get a seven foot rod in there. It actually goes pretty far forward. Uh, so it was really nice seven foot rod on either side or a gaff or a brush or something that you want to get out of the way. Our table, again, like I mentioned, is going down flush with the deck here. That'll go completely flush. And while I'm doing that, we can open up that other side to show you the fish box here. Nice deep fish box. That one here is, um, it's got a macerator system in there with a diaphragm pump, so it'll pump everything out overboard. Um, keep you know, major fish in there, big fish, uh, group snapper, Kobe, Oahu, whatever you can think of, uh, toss them down in there if the one in the back isn't big enough for you. And then finally, we have another cooler here on our mezzanine seat. This is a good spot to just throw some more drinks. It drains right here on the deck. The deck drains overboard. And then you can see the nice backrest. Uh, lounger seat, this is going to be a really comfortable place. Everything stores away, but you noticed everything's contoured to your back here. Um, with rod holders, cup holders, 
around everywhere so you can uh, really have a great day on the water. And then finally forward you have your through hole anchor windlass up there with a nice big 34 pound stainless steel anchor, a really flush profile so it looks really nice on this boat. Um, that is the 395cc Everglades quick little walkthrough. We'd love for you guys to take a little bit deeper of a look at that boat. Uh, call us, email us, text us, whatever we can do to get you on this thing. It's really, really impressive and even more impressive when we put it in the water. Again, my name is Richard Murbach with the Tom George Yacht Group. Give us a call.